What's going on traders? This is Mike with Tactical Traders doing some end of the day scans today on January the 20th and right now I am looking at ticker symbol TRXC on the one hour chart for the past 20 days of uh, price history. Um, so this has had a very impressive run up. Um, I did trade this personally. Uh, this was one of my favorite um, trade setups when it comes to penny stocks was this uh, this slow, gradual, you know, build a little bit of volume, slowly coming up, price staying above that 50 SMA, 200 SMA, and slowly making its way up. And then, you know, hitting a little uh, resistance up here, going sideways before just really breaking it out and having a very nice, impressive bull run. Uh, but after these nice, impressive bull runs, you know, you always gotta wonder uh, how much is left in the tank and where can this go? Uh, and we're gonna be going through the charts, highlighting some areas of interest, and showing you what can possibly happen and what to expect and maybe forming a profitable trade plan off this. Uh, before I go any farther, I do just want to show um, that we have right here um, our alert on, this was nine days ago on the 11th. Um, we are just saying TRX, um, C long at 181. So we're putting that alert out there right there for that. So we had a nice, uh, a, a nice good run up. Um, since then, so very profitable, you know, going back into this, we're looking at, um, you know, four, over $4 high. So, you know, over over 100% return right there. Uh, so very impressive. So anyways, if you are still in this trade now or looking to get into it, let's go over some areas of interest and see what we can uh, kind of map out from this. All right. So it's pretty easy to see that we had this breakout here at the, uh, the 275 area. And then also down here at the 225, 230 area. Uh, so these areas after the resistance is usually broken. Uh, I like to think of these areas as possible areas of support. Um, just because it's very common to see resistance be broken to the oops, the um, the upside and then becoming areas of support. So right here now we have our new areas of resistance at the $4 uh, mark. And I'm actually going to change my tool for this one. Here we go. At the, at the four dollars you can see that the price action um had what is going on with this had some uh problems getting past this four dollar mark yes it did momentarily pop above that in the morning uh but for the most part this is a pretty thin wick up here meaning the shares were thinly traded and overall during this period of time the price just stay below that four area being testing it testing it one two three four five five or six times right there so you know four is definitely where a lot of eyes are going to be and now more of a, an intraday support. It looks like we have some good intraday support right here at the 340-ish uh, area. And we're going to highlight that now as a area of support. All right. So you can see from the this candle bouncing off it, bouncing off it, being tested again. This main body of the candle as well. You know, again, this wick just like up here, very thinly traded. But so overall over here, up here, bouncing off that. And then again, just some wicks coming down. And then finishing the day pretty much right on that uh, intraday support. So kind of a, a little interesting right here, you know. Overall, this right here could be just a sideways channel of uh, consolidation where the price will consolidate before the next uh, move up. You know, we can't have these constant uh, moves going straight up. It's very uh, unsustainable. It just wouldn't make sense for a price to just go completely straight up like that nonstop. So, you know, areas like this where the price gets a chance to breathe a little bit. Definitely a healthy one in my uh, in my opinion. Uh, however, if this 340 area does break, I really wouldn't be surprised to see the um, the price fall back into the three to high twos and really test this area of support as well as this 50 SMA as an area of support as well. So if you are looking to get into this trade um, and you are looking to swing trade this and buy it more of a speculative buy, I think buying right now around the 340 area um, is a pretty uh, easy. Um, way to start in small and you can always scale on the on the pull back however i do recommend this actually to uh have a stop below this and not wait for that pullback maybe reevaluate trading get in here or if you're looking to trade this more of a breakout momentum trade look to uh buy it here with a tight stop loss trade that range up to the four air take a part of your position size off here and then look for the breakout past that. And then if you want to do pretty much just a day trade, look for the four area resistance to be broken with an increased amount of volume at the same time. That increase in volume is going to be key, showing you that there's a lot of momentum and breakout there and you don't get caught in a fake out breakout. All right, traders. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. 
And if you do want to get live alerts like you did here, uh, jump into our live 24-7 chat room uh, where you can get uh, access to all of our alerts and information there. All right, traders, well, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay profitable.